Top story, crisis averted. An armed teen stopped outside a high school. We always have to assume the worst. The arrest prompting a call for an end to school violence. Tonight, a teenager is in custody after making threats against his former school. Good evening, I'm Mike Bush. And I'm Kelly Jackson. This afternoon's threat against the Rittner School District came just days after a previous threat sent students to remote learning. Five on your side, Laura Barcheski is in the newsroom with everything we know so far, Laura. Mike and Kelly, the threat started online with a social media post, but became all too real for the Rittner School District when the suspect was arrested and had a gun one block from one of their schools. Rittner School District Superintendent Chris Kilbride says this threat started like many threats do. And I want to thank our students um, that saw it. Uh, they saw it out on social media. Uh, we had a number of students that came directly forward and notified administrators. Kilbride says the threatening post from one of their former students had a picture and tagged the location of Rittner High School. After reporting it to district officials, they were able to call the Missouri State Highway Patrol Courage to Report hotline. That mobilized several police departments and around 1.30 Tuesday afternoon, they responded to Husky Academy, another Rittner school. Students and faculty were at school at that time, and that's when they went down or they got away from the main, the windows and the other areas at that point. Police say the teenager was in his car with a loaded handgun when police found him outside Husky Academy. Officers, uh, when they were going to approach him, he took off running. Um, the officers converged in the area and apprehended him a block, about a block away. Investigators say in the shuffle, the suspect had ditched his gun, but they found it after taking him into custody. District officials say it was only 24 minutes from the time they received word of the threat to the time of the juvenile's arrest. While the response was quick, the wounds will not heal quickly. We are in the second month of school, um, and at the end of the day, students and staff uh, are tired, parents are tired, uh, because of where we are now in 2024. And so truly understanding the sense of urgency and being able to eliminate uh, these threats and ensuring uh, that they don't perpetuate, that they don't continue um, by using courage to report, by contacting school, um, and standing up and being a true champion um, of the community and of, and of schools. The teenager is in St. Ann Police custody and could face several charges, including weapons charges, but that will be handled through the juvenile court system. Counseling will be made available for current students.